In July, in the atrium of the Orange County Administration Center, we have the paintings of Stephen Taylor. It has two subject matters, fish and ships, or fish and ships. So welcome, Stephen. Thank you, Terry. Good to be here. I understand that you started your interest in ships and water like when you were young. I did, I was very young. I, uh, I built a small boat with my brother. I think I was about 10 years old. Uh, and most of those paintings are school ships that I've been very lucky enough to captain. Then I get back and I would I would paint them. Well, your your fish paintings have a lot of fish, <laughs> very busy, <laughs> yes. and your ships have a lot of lines, very busy. And this is complicated. These ships are watercolors, so you can't paint over another line. Each little segment has to be its own and the little bit of sky between it has to be its own because watercolors don't cover over anything. Yeah, it's torture. Looks, <laughs> <laughs> well, you come up with a good product after that torture, so thanks for doing that. Did you grow up on the ocean? Uh, what, what's your inspiration for being so dedicated to these themes? That is a great question, Terry. Um, when I was a kid, None of my family, none of my friends had anything to do with boats. I grew up in Dallas, Texas with no way to go sailing. I had to make my own little boat first. Long after I went to sea, became a captain of these wooden ships, after all of that, my grandmother, right before she passed away, she told me that my grandfather, who was a famous fighter pilot in World War II, that if there was anything else that he would have done with his life other than that. It would have been the captain of one of those big old ships. So it, it gives me a lot of thought. Well, Stephen Taylor, we're glad to have your artwork with its cooling effect of the wind and the sails in the Orange County Administration Center atrium. Thank you. Terry, thank you so much for the opportunity to be here. We're glad to have you.